Hey everybody, this is John Sanders. I'm here with Alcinia, and we're here to talk about the Arizona Massage Championship, November 5th from 8.30 to 1. Please come and enjoy. There's also going to be a fall festival, but we're here to talk about the Massage Championship. championship. Miss Alcinia, yes, John. 2019, we did our first Arizona Massage Championship. You were one of the contestants. You won. Second, Second place. place. I did. Tell us about that experience and, and the good, the bad, the nervousness, all that stuff. Absolutely. John, that was one of the most elaborating experiences that I've had. I was scared. I was so fearful. Uh, I, you know, everyone watching me, me being judged, and, you know, I didn't think that I was good. You know, you always fear. But I said to myself, fear will disappear. Do what you want to do and fear will disappear. Uh, after that experience, it, it grew my experiences as far as massage. Uh, I was more confident in myself, and I was able to mentor others through that my experience. So I got some CEUs out of the experience, and I got to meet some beautiful people, and I got to see a lot of other body work. Uh, it's an art. I'm an artist. So I said to myself, show my art. Show my art of massage. Dance. And I massaged like no one was watching me. There was hundreds of people there that day, but I was the only person in that room. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, years ago, I'm flipping through Facebook, and I happened to see some of the European championships. I'd never heard that a thing like that even existed. Mm -hmm. And I started watching a lot of the YouTube videos, and it was like, this is awesome. Look at these moves. Look at these techniques. People were mixing up techniques, and... They've been doing this in Europe for almost 10 years, and they have different categories, chair massage, tie massage, lomi lomi, eastern, western, sound healing. They have tons of different events, and I said to myself, wow, this would be great if we do something here, but nothing back then was in the United States, and I approached KC here at Sweetheart, and I said, KC, how about a massage championship? She didn't hesitate. She said, yeah, John, let's do it. So we threw some stuff together, and it started out slow because people were sort of on the fence. They didn't understand what a, a championship was all about. And to explain this, the championship is not about who gives the best massage. That's impossible to, to track. This is about us getting together, celebrating our, our industry. Uh, coming together. This is our our all-star game. This is our Academy Awards. And whether you are a student looking at vintage massage therapists, stealing every move you can, or just excited to watch people who have the confidence, and I said, I want I want to do this. And so we put it together 2019. Absolutely. Uh, we had uh, a bunch of people, had a full room show up, and it was fantastic. It was great. And I'll send you the, the old school you and I used to work at. Yes. We used to do a thing called Mad Skills. Mad Skills. And all the Mad Skills was all the instructors and a few confident uh, students. We get together and we just do our thing. And, then, you know, as a, I've been teaching massage for 18 years. And when you're teaching a modality, it's hard to just really cut loose and teach at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, with this championship, I don't have to teach. Just like Alcinia said when she competed, you get into your zone, all of a sudden the people all around you disappear, and you just do what you do. And I'm looking forward to this year. Also what happened this year in North Carolina for the first time, they brought the championships here to the United States. Now, that's a big deal yes. there. They, they had hundreds of entrants. Uh, they have huge stadiums. Like I said before, they have multiple categories. Well, we're real small. This is local. We have one freestyle category. But I want to see people come out and bring their lomi lomi. I want to see people come out and bring their Thai massage, she their answers. stretch therapy, their cranial, maybe a little sound healing. Massage Envy, Elements, Hand and Stone. I want you to sponsor one of your therapists. Treat them to something. Tell them you appreciate them. Say, here, here's $35. Go do what you do and have an at it. And represent us. I, I want sponsors knocking on the door and say, hey, John, KC, can we be a part of your thing next year? Uh, this has the potential of being real big, but the main reason we're doing this is to gather. It doesn't matter what school you went to, what school you're going to, how many years you've been a therapist. You can be a therapist for five days. 
Come into the event. Yes. Show your skill. Show off and let's celebrate massage. At the end of the day, remember, we are all facilitators of healing. And for those of you who are a little nervous about you know having people watch you, Alcini alluded to it. Do what you fear and fear will disappear. Absolutely. All right. So remember, November 5th starts at 830 if you, you must be a licensed massage therapist, you have to show proof of insurance. Uh, you need to let us know in advance if you need a demo body. I have a lot of people volunteering to be a demo body. I wish they would volunteer to, to participate, but we have a lot of demo bodies uh, volunteering. But November 5th, 8.30, first round starts at 9, goes for an hour. Second round at 10.30 to 11.30. Finals, um, if you're selected... They start at 12. We will be done uh, 1 o'clock. But come, uh, there's going to be the fall festival. Tons of stuff happening. Food, face painting, sound healing, yoga, drum circling. November 5th. Hope to see you guys there. I challenge you to come take my second place. <laughs>